10 years ago in that stock market already, in which case your original 100% uh, loan to debt could now be no more than 10% in a good investment uh, portfolio. Not everybody's done 10x over the decade, but the market has gone very, very strongly. If you'd lent heavily on tech, um, biotech and pharma during the last decade, which was not the hardest call, um, you could have done exceedingly well. Uh, so inflation is also killing the layman's government and private pensions which are stuffed with low yielding and now fast devaluing debt, leading to lower sub breadline annuities for the retiring lower sub breadline annuities for the retiring working poor. So on that uh, point, let me just go back to the whiteboard and re-engage you with uh, my inane scribblings and drawings. Essentially, Everybody whilst working, and here's Mr. Driver, and let's get a uh, different color pen, actually. We'll go with a light blue. Here's Mr. Driver, and there's the nurse um, there with a narrow waist and broadening hips. They've been making contributions all their life. Uh, many of these have been mandatory and they've been put into either government uh, pensions or they've had private pensions. If you're not in the government sector, you might get private sector. By the way, in government's cases, they have defined benefit schemes. That means you'll get at minimum a certain amount. That is pre-agreed. Uh, in other words, you'll get X percentage of your salary, regardless of the returns that money has made. So the pensions in the government, particularly in the UK, for example, are deemed gold plated gold plated by the government because the government has underwritten, underwritten them and said, listen, you will get at minimum 80% of your salary or 75%. Whether that money has grown sufficiently to handle that. People are living longer. Um, they're retiring approximately the same age. In the past, pensions didn't need to exist for near as long. People are living longer. It's causing a problem. The private pensions, you only got whatever your pot was worth. So good luck with your performance. And a lot of that, of those pensions, were lent to government who wanted borrowings so that they could spend. So government wanted expenditure. Some of that expenditure went on bank bailouts, stimulus checks, furlong payments. If you're in America, the Tesla green credits, all sorts of dubious schemes, of course, the military industrial complex, etc. So the government spent a lot of money, gave a lot of profits to uh, McDonnell Douglas and various others for the F-35 fighter. That's a useless piece of crap um, that doesn't do anything particularly well and they don't know what to do with it. And they need a few more trillion now to try adapt it. Uh, and the simple Russians that fo focused on a clear cut fighter and a clear cut bomber have better planes. Um, but there you go. That's what you got. That's what they expended to it. Big bung fund for doing dark state, other activities built into that F-35 budget. It ran over budget three, four, five times uh, in the process of bringing that product to market. It's an absolute white elephant piece of crap. But anyway, that's how your government spends your money. They borrow. They borrow from pensions to uh, they get pension funds to buy contracts of them agreeing a debt and an owing to the pension fund. So the pension doesn't have that money anymore. That asset actually was passed to government. They lent the money to government and government gave them an IOU back there and said, we'll pay you some interest. And these are your interest flows here that I'm referencing that come back. But what they did is they killed the interest rates because they were proliferating so much money and created the biggest bond market, bull market um, following uh, Paul Faulkner's uh, taming of inflation. As I often say, the last semi-series, Alan Greenspan is the biggest criminal, uh, financial criminal ever existing in central banking. Um, and he proliferated, dropped the rates, proliferated. You had this bull market in bonds and they were appreciating in value, but the interest they were paying was very, very low. So the yield and the return recently has been exceptionally small. Now, this pension fund has to pay grandpa here in his wheelchair and his uh, medical care, his nurse and everything to keep him going because he was these guys a while back paying all the contributions in there. What's happening is these people are all, all threatening to live a whole bunch longer. That money that got spent on bank uh, bailouts has just pushed the stock market up. The pensions have too much debt. 
government debt that they've purchased as assets that are paying too low a rate of interest. Now what's happened, the interest rates are starting to go up very late in the day. But that means the bond asset is actually going down. There are pension funds, including the, what, uh, the main government which is the one in America, that apparently would run out as early as 2029 of all money. Remember, they've got to have a nest egg and they generate an income off that. Now, not only will the income not be enough, but the whole nest egg is being eaten up to the point where it's gone and the pot's empty. The pension crisis is massive and is huge. And debt is in a topping rollover, first inverted HVF, as we've suggested many times before on the Market Sniper channel. And now the same bankers that got the bailouts, these guys over here that expanded this asset, are now borrowing money, borrowing bonds and selling them short, helping to kill the capital value of debts that are owned by the pension. Can you believe that? We save them and now they make the profits on it. The profits are capitalized and the losses are a problem of society. So what ends up happening is inflation is actually running a lot higher than is claimed. Uh, as I've already suggested on the shadow stats, it's probably double digits for most people. You have a varying rate depending on your standard of living. And they don't have proper assets that will survive this too much government debt that is fast losing its value. That liability that is everybody's contribution is also their asset that they made the government's liability. This asset value at the most important time is dropping in value. And in actual fact, such as the sensitivity of rates at these level, that even small moves in percentage terms, which are often multiples uh, of moves, if you go from 0.5 to 1.5, you've actually tripled the yield, but it has a disproportionate effect on the capital value of that bond instrument, that debt instrument. So these assets are shrinking in value, just as all these people are coming in the end of the boomer cycle um, are hitting peak retirement. Um, most boomers are now largely retired and there are no longer net contributors. They are uh, net takers out of uh, the system. So you have a pension system which is bankrupt. Now America has a higher culture of equity. Many of the boomers will of course at least have some mutual funds and some things and they will have benefited from this appreciation. In the UK for example, um, where they're relying on government pensions, government will no longer, the guilt plated, the gold plated government pensions are going to come under attack because it's unfair to those who've privately put on the pensions, must pay tax for the nurse to still get her gold plated pension, even though the government didn't get the returns they were supposed to get, whilst not having sufficient money in his private pension because it's stuffed with government debt. So the government debt is the bubble. The debt was always the bubble. The creation of money. Every time you create a money, you have created a debt. That's the T-bill account. The asset here is the liability. The liability is the asset there. The liability there is the asset there. When uh, debt, if it's be to be shorted all the way down by the banking institutions who will profit on the way up and back down on the way down, will kill the value of debt. They kill the pension funds assets at the same time. Inflation is killing the debt. Inflation is killing the value of debt. And that's why interest rates are going up and they still not positive real interest rates to a shadow stats inflation rate. They are still not giving a positive return because you would need to be giving the better part of 9.9% on the Regan's own statistics. So that is a little bit of an example of why that. They are killing the layman's government private pensions, which are stuffed with low yielding fast devaluing debt. Debt is the bubble, guys. A hyperflationary super cycle is the perfect final wealth polarizing ploy. So what do I mean by this? The K-shaped recovery that you've now heard them all talk about. On 2017, I recently retweeted it. I said it's a polarizing event is coming. It will be referred to as a black swan event but it is designed to polarize the wealth so that most people lose all their wealth and are on the lower leg of the K. And the chosen ones and those that are smart enough to understand the game will be on the upper leg of the K. We are parting ways. 
the massive underclass is coming and it will not just be the low uh, working class of today and the blue collar of today it will be 80 90 percent of the middle classes too because so many things they own will lose value and they also have huge amounts of debt um, to deal with so there will be a top few that will go up and the rest are going down it's a polarizing ploy and it is by design hyperinflation is perfect because it will make those that are asset rich and debt rich super rich because the debt disappears in its value and the assets hold their value in an ever increasing inflation rate so they appreciate so those that have borrowed to the hilt that can afford to make those payments will benefit by the way if you lose your income and you can't make your payments you lose all your chips so it's not a call to go and borrow and i'll touch on the borrowing rates you get versus the borrowing rates that were afforded to those same banking cartels for share buybacks of their own stock but we'll get there in a, uh, a second so let's uh, keep moving so what it will do it will lay blue collar and most middle classes into a government ubi based dependency for those of you that can't see it already i'm here to tell you that ubi is already here same as the guys that always ask me when's reset resets in full flow right now um, and we're actually entering one of the last chapters this whole event's going to catch you by surprise um, uh, because you're sleeping right through it ubi is already here stimulus checks and furlough payments of 80 percent for not working is training you to do nothing productive and to receive money and it is also a government payment not because of COVID 19 and empathy for business uh, lost revenue on your small business or lost salary because your business has uh, shut down it is to keep you docile payment because they aren't yet ready for the social unrest of starving you. They're getting all their, their duckies in a row. They already know the next stage. They're three moves ahead of you at least. And they need you to be kept docile for now. So they pay you to stay home. You think it's a great big easy and you say, long may it last. I'll see what comes next. What me worry? Bad news. You should be very worried. Because once you've given up and you accept your dependency, when they pull that rug or they stretch the timeline out or they underpay you, you're going to go hungry in an inflationary environment. And the excuse for not giving you more money is it's causing inflation. <laughs> the same inflation they caused. Um, the main inflation that they are personally responsible for causing. So what will happen is you'll be put into dependency and then when they starve you of your payments, they can evict you from the little property that the blue collar man may own or the middle class individual may own. As they drown in debt accumulation, which is at high interest, tertiary extracting tools such as credit cards charging between 16.9 and 30 percent. So the access to credit you get as Mr. Blue Collar or middle class um, 20, 30 year old, etc., is going to see you paying interest rates such as that with lots of they'll make you pay for insurance policies in case you don't pay all sorts of other extras. They'll up your rates if the environment turns bad. If inflation is starts to record higher numbers, they will up your rates on the basis of inflation. In short, underwriting risk is going through the roof. The bankers know about the K. They know the K has just a small top leg and a massive fat underclass lower leg that's what makes the top part super rich at the expense of the many and they don't want to underwrite that risk anymore they're going to make it super expensive and hard so that they earn out all that they need and can afford even for you to go bust and help make it happen by ever higher ursary extraction costs and insurance policies ensuring yourself against going bankrupt against government policies and inflation that is the game so whilst megacorps receive stock buybacks credit lines at minuscule rates so ibm ge all these failing megacorps can buy their own stock to keep it up 
borrowing at very low rates, money that's going to devalue thanks to the hyperinflation that comes so that what they owe relatively will go down, their stock will go up in value, even though their revenues down, their earnings down, and there's more debt on their balance sheet than there's ever been before. The stock value goes up in hyperinflationary because the basis by which you're measuring anything is sinking in value. Everything is sinking in value. So even though they're destroying value, they will still go up. Um, they won't go up at the same rate as the inflation rate. An average stock will. And uh, a real growth stock that's part of the surveillance oligarchy will uh, grow even faster than the inflation rate. But the inflation rate is a tailwind for all equity, generally. And you don't own that much, and they do. And the CEOs goose their stock prices by buying their own uh, stocks back to help them on bringing home their mega option packages, which they cash out and sell to you at relative market highs when the valuation is too high and they do a little bit of a sell off uh, and cash in with fiat, buy bigger homes, buy gold, silver and more stocks later. It's a K recovery by design and intent to engineer the ruling class owners of everything and tax into poverty the masses through an inflationary savings uh, pension theft and cost of living squeeze. They will destroy your pension. They will destroy your government pension because they will have to renege even on the gold plated government pensions for parastatal workers because the private pension workers are going to be destroyed with the government debt going down and it won't be fair. Um, so there will come great pressure. They will renege on that and the buying power of your money will continue to drop, drop, drop at such a rate that you'll need it. Uh, you'll need to double your income every second or third year just to keep up with the rate of inflation. That doesn't include any major hyperinflationary where you get deep into double digits uh, rates of inflation. That's just at current shadow stats levels. Um, so the great deception, the great deception that's in this Washington Post article is that a hand that appears to give the needy such generosity, a real leader doing working for the people, bringing them $1,400. It's taken him a while. They've dragged it out. They've pushed it through because the inflation's already showing in the commodities prices. So no longer just the asset price inflation. That's seen Bitcoin charge. That's seen silver and gold charge up to 2000 um, the last part of last year, although precious metals have not been impressive this year so far. Um, and has seen the stock markets make ever, ever higher highs, even though the quality of those earnings in many cases is more weak and more suspect in a COVID pandemic realm where their customers and clients are being hollowed out and made to stay at freaking home. OK, so the great deception is this gift. This gift actually takes away their wealth and their freedom their hope and reduces them to submissive slaves of dependency, sitting at home, gathering their furlong uh, checks, hoping that it's long may it continue. And what the hell will they do when the music stops? The music will stop. You'll be made to riot. You're made to be angry. You'll be made to go hungry. Uh, and let me say the only time you'll act is on uh, empty bellies because too many people haven't acted for too long and it'll be brought on by apparent government charity to the people. You are in actual fact the last to get the charity. You are the last and the least and you're getting the most meager feed. We will deal with that in a moment. The die was set well prior, well before when the corporations and hedge funds were bailed out in the terms of long term capital. They printed capital. The Clinton era printed capital and bailed out long term capital on the basis of being too big to fail, that the knock on effects would be too big. Lots of big name investors uh, didn't want to die with long term capital. It should have lost all its money and there should have been criminal charges for dereliction of duty uh, and due care of a financial nature, possibly even fraud taken against the long term capital directors instead. Um, they were let off the hook largely and the government managed the situation, pumped liquidity in it and closed out all the positions with huge unparalleled loss. They saw they got away with that. That was the green light for the later subprime bust on the basis that we'll now do a large scale 
Um, the, the, the citizenry, the masses simply didn't understand what happened, simply didn't understand that they were even stolen from when we printed and bailed them out. So your tax money went to bail out a hedge fund. You accept that. Now your tax money goes out for the entire subprime banking crisis. But you had a little bit of the Kool-Aid. Your house value went up for a while. Don't you complain about it. You also got some. Guess what? It all went straight back down for a while. You got flushed out and were forced to sell out of all your properties at the bottom of the market. The retail guy is being taken to the cleaner uh, and many people felt the washout of the property boom. So the too big to fail moral hazard was established and since then we've had QE 1, 2, 3 and 4 all the way since the subprime. In the name of engineering a recovery they destroyed your currency and increased inflation not at the bread and milk price at your store, but in asset prices that made the other part of the balloon rich while you stayed the same. You get to ride the elevator down. You don't get the escalator trip up. That's how it works. You're the bag holder. It's designed that way. How else do they get you on the bottom leg of that K? How else do they get you all to make contributions at your cost to create the super wealth class. That's how they do it. And you're finding out now. So government friendly mega corp bailouts ensued. So the citizens are in actual fact the last to get the charity. This is the final stage in the inflationary saga. The asset price inflation has been going on for ages since dot com boom into the property boom into which they've reinflated by the way to some degree, not to the previous valuations high in law in old dollars but certainly higher in new dollars but there's more of them around um, and the, the equity market boom so we're now in the equity market boom and you are about to face the deflation of the debt market the biggest largest market bigger than all the market caps of all the stock markets in the world the debt deflation that is your creation of money and that's how they've been hanging it so the citizens are getting meager meager bailouts so that you can't feel bad about the inflation. You were given some stimmy checks or at least the, the man down the road that didn't earn quite as much as you did. Uh, so you can't say there wasn't something on the go. You didn't need them. You were too you were too able body. Um, so it goes. The inflation forces were set in motion long time ago before you realized it. But because it never came to you in your balloon, your segment of the balloon, over here in the real economy. You sat here, you never saw it. Your loaf of bread kind of went up, but not too much. Your cappuccino kind of went up. I went to the UK, I bought in Nottingham for under a pound, ATP, a pint in the Midlands, um, and in many places, sub a, a pound in the St. Albans, Hertfordshire uh, area, and you would get a pint for, uh, for a pound. That was in 1999. When I left, uh, the better part of, I can't even, well, 14, 15 years later, um, you were on three and four pound uh, pint. Um, that was real economy. So things did get kind of more expensive, but in a, a moderate way. It took 15 years for it to go up four times. In the meantime, the others were making out like bandits and they grew like that. That's how it went. That's how it went. You didn't see that. You didn't notice it. You caught a little bit of it in the property market if you owned a home. You caught a little bit of it in the property market if you owned a home. So the citizens are actually the last to get the feast and you are scavenging for the scraps. Um, this 1400 here, their means tested. Not everybody is getting it. Not everyone's getting as much, etc, etc. It's the final stage because they know once they bring you in, more of that money will go to consumption. The billionaire doesn't rush off and so grateful to get the money he goes and buys a loaf of bread and a liter of milk. He does that whenever he needs it. Someone else does it for him and brings it to him. Um, the consumption on a new device, the new phone, the new uh, speaker, the new laptop, the new TV, that is going to be the retail guy. And that is going to cause that demand. And it's going to start being shown in inflation beyond even the current masking effects of the fake stats. 
So even with the fake inflation rates, it's going to start to show. They will need it at some point eventually to show and they'll start uh, letting it slip. At that point, there will then be no more reason to give you stimulus because it's creating inflation. You see, you getting the money is what's created the inflation. It's because that's happened and all you dumb people are driving the prices of coffee up and bread and wheat and corn and oil and everything else. In fact, they need to get these stimulus checks out. They need those furlong checks out because you're to carry the bag for pushing prices up. Not all they gave to the military industrial complex. Not all they gave to the pharmaceutical industry for this uh, scamdemic. Not all the bailouts they gave to the banking industry to push the stock market up to ridiculous valuations. None of that because you don't understand that inflation starts with asset price inflation when you're giving it to billionaires, not in your, pri not in your liter of milk. They don't go buy more milk and more Kellogg's and more loaves of bread. They go and buy more cars, more assets, more homes and more stocks. That's what they do. They acquire assets. They acquire assets and you've got asset price inflation, the first stage of clear cut inflation. Whenever you create money, it is inflationary. And it went to a certain cult and elite uh, crew that borrowed it for nothing and got to put it into assets knowing that there was a wall of money, that they were front running, a wall of money coming behind them on a never ending basis, that it was always, think the YouTube uh, clip that says, buy the effing dip, buy the effing dip, shut up with your reason, shut up with valuation, you are riding a tidal wave of money coming behind you, you're not going to surf to the beach, you're going to surf right into the inland, you're going to get onto that mountain peak, just buy the damn dip. So supply chain shortages will eventually come because the prices will get too high. People will start hoarding. You've seen it already in the toilet paper wars in the COVID-19. Price controls will follow. The dumbest idea and this will happen. We know it's dumb. They will do it because government will pretend to be acting in favor of you and do all the known things that will cause breakdown of society. If you want to bring in a totalitarian regime and you want to cause global hardship on the masses, if you want to do all these things, you need a breakdown of the regime. So you want to keep doing acts of kindness that make the situation worse. It's the perfect goal. You just look like the benevolent giving money to the poor, giving money to the poor. How did the, they how did they even describe it? It's absolutely ridiculous. Washington Post, as per Bezos, uh, Biden stimulus showers money on Americans, sharply cutting poverty in a defining move of presidency. What an utter pile of complete destructive BS. If ever you've seen a garbage propaganda based Ashkenazi flipping, bring on the totalitarian communism headline. That is it. It will absolutely bring everything I'm telling you. This is your prediction for the future. Supply chain shortages due to inflation will occur. We've seen it in Venezuela. We've seen it in Zimbabwe. They were separate and segregate microcosms of the events. You saw it in Ukraine when they got flipped and they restricted the amount of money that could be built and people were selling their assets and cars for a third of the price. You couldn't buy things. Things couldn't be found. People hoarded. Everything happens. It's everyone then for himself. So what's going on now? Furlough and stimulus payments are not reparations. They are there to keep you docile, docile, doing nothing, observing and grateful for a handout. The oh, government is your friend. Government is your friend. Have some fiat, have some confetti money. Government is your friend. OK, I'll take it away. Now what you're going to do? Perfect. Problem reaction solution. They can time the revolution by switching off your docile drug of fiat. Simple. They can now decide when they are ready to get the people in the streets and they will switch it off then. Their, their later delay or taper, so next time they uh, delay it longer than you want or taper it off, they can cause a social riot in the streets. This will signal the problem of problem reaction solution and is the pre-pack ready game, the tinder that they sit with the Zippo lighter ready to hurl in and say, after me the storm, let the dominoes now 
follow their logical procession and we are waiting at the other side as the totalitarian masters over the citizenry and the masses. Problem, reaction, solution, riots and looting will be unleashed. Stimulus delayed or less than needed or expected due to government's final acknowledgement of a sudden out of the blue black swan inflation. Nobody's seen this coming, but suddenly we seem to have inflation. We had low interest rates for so long and now there's this thing. The rates go up and our city boy friends are shorting the debt market through the floor and making profits and driving the rates up as the asset class value goes down. That is how they will ensure it will happen. They own the bankers. They are the bankers and they own you and they've got you on a little teat sucking their little milk bottle that they're going to whip out their mouth while their friends are busy selling short all your assets and driving the interest rates up and nobody wants to hold debt. All of a sudden everybody will realize the bubble was debt. The bubble was debt. Greenspan started the great liquidity experiment. The bubble was debt. The bubble was debt. Everyone will suddenly realize that. And now you get the stagflationary inflation. Greenspan during the globalization era. Oh, we have surprisingly low inflation. Continually cooking the stats. Continually adjusting the basis for comp uh, comparison. Shrinkflation by the retailers. Regularly putting uh, smaller amounts in packages that look like the old sizing. All of these trickery and chicanery is going on so that he could allow interest rates to sag, 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 debt to build up, asset price booms, never an end in sight. So simultaneous to this, hedge fund bankers shorting debt markets will profit hugely as the biggest real bubble of money creation deflates. That's literally what I was just saying. Uh, it will destroy public and private pension schemes with many suspending or restating payments well below the breadline. What can a pension scheme do? It can't just sit there and pay out and pay out all its assets in the next year or two because the, the value of their debt item is slowly being acknowledged lower. The banker there is shorting it to zero and beyond into debt jubileedom. Pension system, the entire pension system that people will have paid their entire lives for will fail into the new UBI, your dependency. But because you don't control, you used to control your pension, they now control the outcome and the new deal. You'll probably hear the phrase, a new deal. We'll hear again the use of that phrase, a new deal. Remember for the new deal. Guess who's drawing up the deal for you, the new deal. And here's how you comply. That is, my friends, the pension funds will be crying out for government support. They won't be able to continue. Um, they will be forced to announce lower payments. The government will let them do that so that they, the bad guys, let it get really bad and intense and not make payments or make reduced payments whilst they cry for help. And then the government will slowly saunter over once there's been outcry and say, hey, you know, we never created it. These private companies have done this. They haven't done their, their, their mathematics properly. They failed the actuarial exam. They all, the, the pensions will say, well, we have issued warnings, but we never could calculate on debt falling so fast the government will say yes i know black swan event black swan event those nasty bankers shorted it but we'll we'll steer it away it's the the, the citizens receiving the stimulus checks that have pushed inflation up that killed the bond market soon you with your 1400 dollars will be told that is the reason why the pension schemes have failed because debt markets have failed because your inflationary behavior with that has pushed interest rates up and bonds down and as a result your pension failed your 1400 dollar stimmy check and the two grand before it your 80 percent furlough for six or six to nine months during the COVID pandemic is the reason why the bond market fails and as a result there is no more pension scheme but we have a new deal ready in the wings we've been working night and day especially for you to save you and we have a universal basic income which might come out with a different name but it will be the same thing in the meantime, the Western world, this is going to be very specifically global, but it's going to have a harsh aspect on the Western world. The Western world has got away from many of the things of communism for the USSR and many of the other things. This is a Western world debt reset. This is the harshest place in the West will be hardest hit. Never be seen before levels of looting will occur. Kind of like the Russian mafia will occur, gang groups, uh, black Mercedes, that sort of thing, underground uh, black market 
tears, all sorts of things. Robbery and crime will be exceptionally high. Police will not be responding. They'll be doing government's edict and making sure you wear a mask because they're going to parallel run this with curfews of a health nature, which will eventually morph into full-blown martial law in the name of keeping the social peace once the looting starts. Um, with an uncomfortable racial mix, I'm predicting that there's going to be an uncomfortable racial mix to the violence that's going to be stepped in. It's being exaggerated. It's being inflamed by Trinity College now having to say, well, Irish never quite had slavery. They just had enforced work um, things, you know, to say that they face slavery in America is to undermine Black Lives Matter's this case, etc., etc. All forms of Racial inflammation going coming out of the universities are going to direct black and white violence in a massive, massive way. Um, the exaggerated nature of the violence will also be, it won't just be, here, give me your food, I'll take it and go, don't, shut up and sit down. Um, there will be murder, there will be rape, and there will be an alarming degree of viciousness to it that will be unnecessary for just the needs of survival and sustenance. That is what I see coming next. There is definitely a target being put on the back of certain ethnic groups heads um, and it won't necessarily just be restricted to um, uh, Caucasians. The state police and army will fire on citizenry. This is a long-standing prediction we've made that day comes and it will occur in social unrest. This is highly, highly divisive event because it means family members will shoot on family members potentially um, and some will stand down at great cost and loss of income, job and punishment. Um, but many will go along because they will be receiving on the receiving end of a riot. Um, and this will occur in not one Western country, but many in a bid to establish order. Um, this will successfully polarize law enforcement and the military. So it can come either through the army or for the um, highly militarized riot police that will have lethal weapons or will not have their stun guns available at the time or will be deemed not suitable uh, weapons due to the level of threat or some or other in, uh, situation. So you will see citizen bodies in the street, which will bring a cold shudder down everybody's spine because by protest, you could run the risk of death, not just arrest, death, real death, not accidental death, fired on by lethal weapons. That is coming as part of the social unrest of what's going. Problem is big. The problem needs to be big for the reaction that they intend to bring and the totalitarianism they will roll out. They need you to feel relieved with their solution. So big must the problem be. And that is how it will come. Um, some will refuse to stand down, as I've mentioned. Um, martial law will no longer just be a COVID health meme. It will be explicit. You already are and have experienced it. You just haven't acknowledged it. They've given you a reason. That's why martial law has existed because of a virus. Um, it will be intermixed with the umpteen COVID-19 new variations, especially in the northern hemisphere winter. But wait for it. I'm going to predict a special new variant, the summer variant. This will open up the option to keep you year round locked down. The summer flu. Wait for it. The summer COVID-19 metamorphosization brought about the Brazilian, the South African version and the summer version brought to you from a nice paradise island somewhere hot and warm where you now have to fear dying of the flu too. Now spreading around the world. Wait for it. Crazier stories uh, will be spun. The central bankers will then uh, issue uh, their version of um, blockchain tokens, which they have been working on and have already done. And uh, they will require vaccine update requirements, regular your monthly vax. You'll probably have a quarterly or a semi-annual or a monthly vax even every time. Or it'll be random according to their need. When the summer flu variety comes, you'll need a separate injection. Once you start down that road, there will be no stopping. They will continue. And in the long run, they will be able to change who you are. Social scoring in terms of what you do on social media and tracking. Full track and trace submission to complete surveillance states. 
in the nature of keeping everybody healthy and safe. They care for you. They need to know where you are and what you've done. That's already kind of happening. It's going to become even more intense. Um, and also for the compliance to martial law and lockdown. Certain markets will be suspended in the retail world um, in trading due to supply chain interests. Um, I'm expecting them to uh, suspend trading to retail on a number of platforms unless you are recorded as professional. Um, and I'm also expecting them to make it illegal for you to buy gold. So what will happen? Supply chain uh, will start to fail and they will use these supply chain failures to stop you from trading in coffee, beans, um, gold, silver, uh, various other things. Fixed pricing will be implemented, which will fail. We've already referenced that. Um, fixed supply, fixed pricing, black markets will have to emerge, much higher prices more shortages and black markets. Emergency measures will be implemented, reducing what you can trade, physical ownership of gold and silver to become illegal. It will become illegal uh, and holdings will need to be brought in for your central bank issuery token where you'll be given a specified flat rate somewhere around the levels when markets were suspended. That is how they'll get your gold and silver off you for those of you that aim to protect. Huge fines, prison sentences for non-compliance, rewards for rata mate out to come. That's what they will do in the name of securing your world finances after these difficult times. We need all for one and solidarity. You can't have individuals undermining the system when we have such strife on our hands. Rat your friends out that have taken gold and silver. The Gulag and Stasi culture, the Gulag and Stasi culture of we all spy for government will be fomented. The anger of the mob will be directed, that courtesy of your media, celebrities. We've already had Dolly Parton, Dolly kind of named after the sheep. I don't know which came first, um, the dumb blonde or the sheep, uh, although she's probably hitting 79 degrees in the shade now, um, but nonetheless, says that you're a coward for not taking the vaccine. The Queen said you're selfish for inflicting on others the potential threat that you are. This walking, hibernating germ factory that they apparently are not anymore. Um, yeah, selfish, cowardly citizens that took the steps to protect their wealth. They will polarize you too for doing everything that we've warned you should need to do to uh, secure yourself. They will direct the anger away from the government banker, transnational, IMF, WEF, UN, Megacorp, Apple, MS, Google, surveillance machines that will continue to feed metadata on your activities, your friends, networks, your group memberships to a newly formed, highly powerful secret police that will come down on you hard, that will be looking for leads, they will be taking tech leads and they will be checking continually if you have gold, silver or any hidden wealth that uh, sees you not make your voluntary wealth tax contribution to re-establishing the global world order for your fellow friends and comrades that didn't save. Yep, the secret police will confiscate dissidents' assets. Conf confiscation without reparation. In other words, theft. Theft. The difference is they'll have a government mandate. Um, with their brothers and sisters, comrades in the Black Swan event, dark times, social shaming, removal of government control, privilege, confiscation without compensation. So you will lose privileges. You will be shamed in front of all your solidarity seeking mates that are all wallowing like pigs in the mud uh, that your control structure have left you to, to literally squalor in. Chip in anatomy coming. Sovereignty over your body completely gone. Banking data health systems for the masses. Exclusion from society for refuseniks. You will become part of a leprosy, a leper colony for refusing slowly to be selected off, picked off, arrested, quarantined, acid stripped and persecuted. That's right. Persecution for not playing. You will be a voluntary population reduction in this great game, the Hunger Games Society. Establishment of the two-tier world with great life extension for the elites. So they're already doing a lot in the bio life sciences, editing DNA, 
uh, for the most likely diseases that you'll die by, special supplements for things where you have relative weaknesses that'll extend your years, various other things, which doesn't involve them all being biathletes or triathletes, not at all, but they are gonna live a lot longer, 150, 160 years will become the standard norm. And you, the K class, which is the bulk of us, this is them we speak about, the long life, the new gods, the K class will cease to live much longer. You will have the, the cost of all those vaccinations, the mercury and all the pollutants that they will be injecting inside you on an ongoing basis. An undisclosed mass genocidal event. Yep, that's joy and light. Deemed as a tragedy, yet great for the longevity of the planet. It's a sad fact that we lost a lot of people with these experimental vaccines. However, the sunny side is we have slowed the rate of growth of population. We've reduced the number of people. The planet is breathing deep again. Yes, are you going to be one of those? Um, for the substantial reduction in global, particularly white race populace, the event will be framed as a bitter harvest that was earned because of your supremacy doctrine and mentality and predilection towards creating slavery based events. That's right, it'll be visited on you. Go find out who were the greatest slave owners in the transatlantic slave, uh, the shape-shifting ones. Go find out. Uh, go find out the British royal family's role, the Rothschild's role um, in China, the opium wars, the slavery, the Boer wars, all driven from the special elite top of the K-class. They were the great slave owners. They drove the masses into by a rule of law through armies, um, that you had to go die for to fulfill their agendas of colonization and everything else. That supreme class will have everyday white faces carrying the can for their slavery, their drug uh, selling and their urshery extraction. Their three great ways of wealth making no more profitable than slavery, urshery extraction, and drug peddling. The natural Khazarian career choices. Um, that is it. And controlled markets. And of course, Freemasonry. And of course, uh, Jesuit. And of course, all those that have collaborated not to isolate uh, the Khazarians. Um, all whilst descendants of the great slave masters of old established their perfect technocracy and pre-climb policing and totalitarianism over all of the remaining lower half of K. That is while perfecting that, having been the bigger perpetrators, being the descendants of the biggest perpetrators of all global suffering, they will secure their global communism and world. Sleep well, you were warned and did nothing, my friends. You waited for others to teach you history. You waited for others to take risks on your behalf. You looked away and carried on when they came for others and took down the likes of Assange, for example. You allowed the propaganda spewing media to frame your guilt without pushback. You never questioned, you never took them on charge. You continued to pay your licenses, you let them say, white man bad you let them say working class man bad they let you say, you let them say males man bad of all genders you let them do everything in their media spammed they lowered the noose down in front of you it's time for you to accept the fate of your full cowardice for letting it happen and not acting sooner this is where you're going you have the script now there is still a sliver of time in the 33rd post, which is very much their number. It spells the end. On the point of 33 posts and it spells their number. For those of you that would like something particularly poetic in the numerology that these uh, psychopaths love to perpetuate. I also make you aware of the debt clock. If you want to know when your totalitarian state is employed, I would have a guess for a bit of fun. Try 33 trillion. And let me tell you, we're adding trillions at such a rapid rate. Your D-Day is coming fast. We crossed 28 trillion recently. Wait for that number 33 to fall. And by then, my friends, the noose will probably be right around all our collective nets. On that cheery note, I hope you feel enlightened, uh, emboldened and prepared to take action to protect both yourself and your fellow community. 
Um, we need uh, to get more followers for all these great tidings of great events uh, coming so that more people can wake up um, and that you can start taking action because being awake don't help anything. You have to start taking action for yourself and those around you. Um, 33 trillion uh, is coming super fast. They've just added that 1.9 to take you to 2.8 to 28. Uh, I can tell you it's going to come even further. And for me as a gambling man, I'm backing on 33 to be a key number. And that could still be this year or early in next year for all we know. Thanks for watching. Um, appreciate your support. Uh, you've just had an hour and 16 minutes of Reset Sniper. Um, I will be on all the other channels. Remember, you can book a call and chat with us uh, at any point in time uh, regarding wealth building and protecting your wealth during these reset times. You can also uh, grab our free mini series from the links below uh, and get added to our newsletter. And you can also share and get us some more subscribers so that we can live stream and do more regularly for you. Okay, with that all said, um, I wish you all the best and I will catch you again soon.